fact, who holds the she devil on a leash? That is the one I am looking for. She must be a devil herself, don't you think? It is a general belief that actress Jocka Silva is one of the best and most respected actresses to come out of Nigeria. She has distinguished herself many times over on the big screens, on the stages, and even on non-acting television shows. No. Uh, what music would you have played now, just this moment? Uh, oh, come on, remember him well. Um, I can die, bro. Let me be Modiebu. Modiebu. Let me be Modiebu. Me a boy to jump on. Let me be Modiebu. Here, as always, Silva has captured the full attention of this audience that happens to be a group of her entertainment colleagues. Only this time, she isn't acting. The passionate actor, Silva, is appalled at the apparent decline in stage production in the country. Theatre has no home. We don't have enough homes. What we have, we have the National, national Theatre, if the National Theatre crumbles, it then means that any institution that Nigeria builds is capable of crumbling many years down the line. And if Britain can have a fed, uh, uh, Buckingham Palace that has been existing for centuries, I don't see why we cannot have a National Theatre that can exist and function for centuries. I'm not looking for a handout from Access Bank, but I'm looking for ways in which we can work together and make sure that that place works. Then she mathematically through empirical evidence proves that the stage can actually grow into a proper money spinning industry. Is it possible, do you think it is possible in today's Nigeria to get 300,000 people to watch a play in the theater over a space of three years. 300,000 people in Nigeria to watch one play, to watch one play over a space of three years at a fee of 5,000 Naira, average. Is it possible? Is it possible? It is possible. I'm hearing yes, nobody is saying no. 300,000 people watching one play, one play, we can change the performers whenever they get tired, but whoever we change will end the same as the last person who went, or maybe cheaper, I'm a producer. <laughs> you know, 300,000 people to watch one play over a space of three years using various, not, not cinemas, various, um, for, uh, spaces around Nigeria. This is for me is a short-term goal that it is possible, and they are paying what five thousand, an average of five thousand naira each. Over the years, we have been we have charged people ten thousand, twenty thousand. Some people, young young people coming, students at two thousand. Some coming even as low as five hundred naira. Those are some of it, but averagely, this is the average. And what does that work out to be? 1.5 billion. 1.5 billion. For a bank, it's small money. The kind of returns that you are looking at, you are lo because you've been having easy money from oil. So they are used to getting hundreds of billions of Naira. Those are the kind of figures the banks are looking at. But I think, Titi, one of the bank, one of the figures that you are looking at, she finally brings the equation and permutations to a conclusion. So if I say 1.5 billion over, over three years, that is really saying that, and my costs, all my costs all together comes to what? Let's say about 800 million when I'm looking at the spaces that I rent. I'm saying that my cost will come, probably come to about 800. Hundred M over those three years. 
my profit almost about 700, let's even say 600. Yeah, 600 net over three years. So that gives you what? 200 M per year. Now, even at your incredible interest rate of 28%, which is about 50 million out of the 200, that's what that comes up, you still have about 150. It's good business, I think. As her colleagues applaud the way she rejects their memory in solving problems mathematically, they must also remember to thank her when the investment starts pouring in.